guys. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 ways to style short hair. And these are really quick, easy, braidless, heatless hairstyles that you can do on the go really quickly if you need to go somewhere and want to look somewhat presentable. So let's begin. For the first look, it's pretty much what I'm wearing right now. A middle part straight, but it's a little flat, so I like to use a dry shampoo. And this one is the Do Gooder by Cake Beauty. So I'm spraying it all over my roots, and I get it all in there, and then I shake it out with my fingers. I just love the messy, effortless look. You know the one where it's like, I just rolled out of bed and I look like this. But really, I just spent half of my life blow drying and straightening it, used 25 different products, and don't forget giving up my firstborn for unfrizzy hair. Hashtag effortless. And if you're feeling a side part, do it. Don't forget to tease. Bigger the better. But not always. But in this case, yeah, a little bit bigger is better. I always pull my hair back and leave a little piece in the front. It just reminds me of an elf. I dig the elf look. What can I say? This look is like a half updo poof puff. The section I grab is about eye to eye wide and it goes from my hairline to the middle of my head. I'm making the messy bun with this section, so I start by pulling the hair through the elastic, stopping halfway, then wrapping the elastic around the partially formed bun, then wrapping the remaining hair around, following with wrapping the elastic around a few more times. I just made a simple messy bun sound so confusing. Sorry about that. Now I'm pulling some pieces in the front to create some volume. And now we're teasing. All about that volume. All about that elf ear. Right now my hair is straight, but all these hairstyles will look great with curly, wavy, or straight hair. I love braids, but sometimes they're time consuming, so if I want something really quick, I do a twist. I start at the top of my ear and grab some hair and twist, grabbing more hair and continuing to twist until I have a little tiny twist and I'm going to secure that with a bobby pin. Just a cute way to get the hair out of the face. And you could totally leave it like this. I love this look. But sometimes I want both sides out of my face, so I do a twist on the other side as well. And using that same twisting technique, I do the other side of my head. So I grab a little piece of hair and twist, grab more hair and continue to twist. And I'll stop when I reach my ear and secure it with a bobby pin. Oh hey, teasing. It's you again. I love this look because it's a great alternative to the braid. It gets the hair out of the way and still looks cute. This next look is the loose low pony. And first, I'm doing a lot of teasing because I want volume and I want to create texture. So we're going to tease my entire head, starting with the back, then going to the sides. Next, I'm combing through the top to smooth it all out. I'm grabbing all the hair and pulling it into a loose pony. I'm going to pull pieces from the front and the sides because I want to look like I rolled out of bed. Again with a teasing lady. But really, I'm doing the pony now, so it's a completely different story. And there you have it, a low, messy, voluminous pony. And you can leave it like that, or you can step it up and throw a headband on it. I used to wear headbands all the time. They were part of my daily uniform. Great for hiding greasy hair, let me tell ya. This look is a series of messy buns, three to be exact. We're teasing it again, but we're gonna create a little poof at the top, and then we're gonna secure it with bobby pins. This look is made up of three sections. The first section is from the ears to the top of the head. And we're going to create our first messy bun. Second section, and we're doing the exact same thing. You could leave it like this, but now nah, I want to keep on going. Last section, exact same thing, creating a mini messy bun. I love this look because it's super edgy and fun and it looks way more intricate than just three simple messy buns. I'm gonna call this one a pull through half updo. First, I section off the top half of the head and then I secure it with an elastic. Creating volume, pulling some pieces up. Using my fingers, I make a little hole in the center of the section right above the elastic and I'm pulling through the pony, flipping it all the way around so it goes through the hole. Next, I pull at it, loosen it up. I want it a little bit more undone. Last but not least, I'm taking this clip that I got at Forever 21 and I'm putting it right on top of the elastic. Just a cute little detail. This next look is a voluminous half-updo pony. 
This section goes from ear to ear and I'm creating a little pony at the top of my head. Holding the pony tight, I am pulling the pieces in the front to create more volume. Grabbing a piece from the pony, I'm going to wrap it around the elastic so it hides it. Then I'll bobby pin it underneath. It's like Ariana Grande's high pony, except it's not. Space buns, fun buns, messy buns, whatever you want to call them, we're doing them right now. This is pretty straightforward, but the first section from the middle part goes from the ear to the middle of the head. And we're going to create our first fun bun using that section. Then we're doing the exact same thing on the other side. These space buns are the cutest. My eight month old daughter needs to grow some hair right about now because I want to do the monitor. That'd be so cute. With this next look, I'm kind of going back to the 90s with a zigzag part. Who remembers that? Why am I doing that? I don't really know. Just kind of like it. I miss the 90s. I'm grabbing a piece in front of my face and I'm tucking it underneath some hair and I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin. Then I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. Elf ear makes another appearance. This last look is a little bit more sleek and slick, but again, it's really easy. I'm clipping up this section because I'm going to deal with it last. You want to brush the hair on the side, bringing it to the back of the head, then clipping it. You want to make sure it's tight, smooth, and flush to the head, doing the same thing on the other side. With the remaining hair on the top, we're going to tease, tease, tease it like crazy. We want to create volume. We're going to quickly comb it back and smooth it all around. And there you go. That's it. That's all. That's all it is. Easy. Okay, fine. Maybe a little tease here too. 10 hairstyles all done. See, they were quick and painless and super easy. Um, let me know what you think and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more hair videos soon. Bye, bye, bye.